Welcome Dr. J.V. Kambri, Ashton Professor of Department of Agricultural Engineering, College of Agriculture, Bhimtrayangudi. Presenting lecture number 4 for the course of Renewable Energy and Green Technology on the topics of biofuels, its sources and the types of biofuels. Here we will see what is mean by biofuel. Biofuels are the type of fuels derived from organic matter, broadly described as a biomass and produced by living organism that is particularly plants and animals. So these biofuels can also be referred as alternative fuel for fossil fuels source mainly from agricultural and other energy crops and forest from the municipal waste or other waste from the households. We will see what are the sources of biofuels. Here are the sources of biofuels. Petropa. So this is a plant source so from which we are getting the biofuels or from this we are making the biodiesel and that we are using it for the different purposes. Here the jetropo seeds we are extracting from the jetropo plant and it will be used for the uh, making the biofuels. So these are the jetropo seeds. This is a jetropo plant. So here it will be selected based on the high yield of oil percentage. Then least risk of failure when we are extracting the oil from the plants. Then List cultivation inputs, so the cost of cultivation of that plants which we are using for extraction of the biofuels, it should be less. Then acceptability of the particular plant by the farmers, it should be high. And suitability of the oil for diesel, it should be there. And it should be widely adaptable in under different or various stress conditions. The plant should be fast growing and short rotation crop and the availability of the seed material and the particular plant it should be having a very least disease occurrence such type of plants we have to select for the making the biodiesel from the plant then these plants as i said the jetropa one of the plant so that we are selecting or we are choosing so similar procedure will be adopted for selection of the biofuel plants for other types of plants and here another plant is there that is a camelina. Camelina, this plant is there. So this we are using for extraction uh, of biofuel from its seeds. So these are the seeds of the uh, camelina plant and that we are using for the uh, making of biofuels. Then another crop is there that is a short rotation tapis, SRC. Uh, this crop particularly uh, grown in the European country and that the crops which will be used for the production of the biofuel. And other types of seeds also will be used for the production of the biofuel, particularly biodiesel. Here the Pongamia or Karanja plant, from this plant the seeds will be extracted and the seed after doing the process on it and uh, the biodiesel will be extracted from it. Then next type of plant or the seed which will be used for the production of the biofuel that is a palm. Then Liberate, this is another plant which will be used for the libra, liberate plant seed will be used for the extraction of the oil and that oil will be for, for the process and the biofuel will be extracted from that uh, process. Castor seed or castor bean also used for the extraction of the biofuel. In other oils or other waste material which will be produced in the kitchen, in households or food waste or the waste oils or after uses of that oil. So that oil we can use for the production of the biofuels, particularly extraction of the biodiesel from the these waste oils or kitchen foods after doing processing on it. Then we are having next type of source of the biodiesel that is a agricultural products. Agricultural products, so various types of the food grains or the, the grains which are not edible. So that food grains will be used for the production of the biofuel as well as the forest residues as well as agricultural residues, the crops after doing the densification of the agricultural and forestry crops. So we are uh, using it for the further processes and that can be used as a, one of the biofuel. Uh, next is uh, industrial bio waste. Industrial bio waste particularly those industries they are producing the waste material after processing other food or other products inside the industries. That Bio waste which is coming from it. For example, we can say the sugarcane industries. 
so whatever the molasses is coming from the sugarcane industry so that can be used for the production of the that can be used for the production of the ethanol or some other other biofuels can be produced from the sugarcane industry then some other novel feeds will be there such like uh, algae uh, the algae also we are using for the production of the biofuels biofuels which we are eating or extracting from the different types of plants or different types of uh, different types of industries or different types of seeds so that biofuels in the what form we are getting it so we are getting it in the form of bioalcohols particularly ethanol methanol butanol and then so we are getting after conversion process or after doing some processing on it so we are getting in the form of biodiesel then green diesel then some vegetable oils we are getting it and that also we are processing it and we are using the biofuel then algae algae fuel also will be here then bioethers biogas syngas and solid biofuels particularly that which you are getting from the plant residue as well as a forest uh, residue so that uh, is wood pellets and uh, dried manure so these are the some biofuels so which we are getting from the plants as well as animals as well as some industrial waste here biofuels are classified or they are having some types so here will be here we'll going to see first one that is a solid biofuels so here is the first one that is a wood so from wood we are making the pallets cut logs or wood chips or sawdust will be used as a direct biofuels for burning or the combustion process we are using it similarly straw compressed straw bales chopped straw so this also we are using for making its pallets or after densifying this compress or after densifying the straw or this chop straw we can use for the combustion process also some municipal refuse or municipal waste which is coming from the some municipal corporation so that is a metal and culate so that also we are using as a types of biofuels or it is coming under solid biofuels the next type of biofuels which we are getting so that is a liquid biofuels under liquid liquid biofuels so we are having a numerous biofuels like methanol ethanol bioethanol so these type of biofuels are the alternative for the fossil fuels and we are using as a biodiesel one of the uh, petrochemical products similar to the petrochemicals products then another type of liquid biofuel is there that is a vegetable oils particularly from the different crushed seeds and nuts we are getting this vegetable oils and that we are using as a biofuel then next type of biofuel is that gaseous biofuel so here the types of biofuels which we are getting from the different products so that is a in the form of fuel gas it may be biogas or so we are saying particularly methane biogas or then synthetic gas or a producer gas after doing the thermal degradation of the biomass material we are getting producer gas or biogas material so these are the some gaseous biofuels material are there so which we are getting from the biofuels uh, different biomass material then ethanol ethanol the term which we have seen so different products which we are getting you know, from the biomass material so one of the products which we are getting from the biomass material that is a ethanol 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 also known as a ethyl alcohol or grain alcohol is a colorless and clear liquid the chemical formula for the ethanol ch3ch2oh and the fuel quality ethanol is a beneficial for car owners and the economy and the environment this is a growing technology and immediate part of the solution to the forthcoming energy crisis so how we can produce the ethanol from the biowest or from other green starch so here is the procedure for the production of the ethanol so here so if you are having a grain starch or starch so starch will be uh, grinded here or the from the grain starch will be separated here so then with the help of uh, some enzymes and uh, h2o will be added it and then the sacrification process will be takes place 
this uh, sacrification process particularly process of breaking complex carbohydrates into simple sugars uh, particularly complex carbohydrates as a starch so it will be going to break or it will going to get segregated here and then we are adding here sugar syrup molasses here so that yeast will be formed and that will going to fermented here in the fermentation fermentation process so biogenic co2 will go out and the mash one fermented product will go for the distillation process and in distillation process so again the rectification will be done on it and in rectification process so hydrous ethanol will be separated by doing a dehydration of it and anhydrous ethanol will be separated from other end so this hydrous and anhydrous ethanol will be separated here after doing the rectification of the uh, after the distillation process in the ethanol production process so when the distillation will be occurring at the time whatever the the waste will be coming out so in the form of stillage so it will go out and that will be evaporated and that waste when we are evaporating it so it is coming in the form of liquid as a liquid fertilizer and if we are drying it so after drying that waste of the in the distillation process the waste which is produced in the distillation process after drying it we are getting the dry or solid fertilizer so dried distillers grains solubles or fertilizers which we are getting from it and the wet distillers Uh, grains and uh, solubles uh, which will be getting in the form of liquid fertilizer here so this is a ethanol production process then another way of doing the ethanol production so here so if we are having a cellulose or cellulosic biomass how that we can convert for the production of the ethanol here is the procedure for cellulosic biomass conversion process so here what we have to do here in this cellulosic biomass if we are having we have to pre treat it for the we have to do either for alkali treatment or for the steam explosion we have to do it then whatever the in pre treatment whatever the waste material will be there so they it will flow as a waste water or the it will be waste water after treatment and then it will go for the sacrification process so when the sacrification process will be there so so cellulose producing microorganism after culturing it so the cellulose will be added in this sacrification process as well as the pre treated cellulose biomass will be added here in this sacrification process and then enzymatic recovery will occur and the next process will be there the sugar concentration will be coming out and so here in this enzymatic recovery when it is occur so at that time so ethanol fermentation will be takes place and that fermented fermented ethanol will go for the ethanol recovery particularly membrane tameric azeotropic distillation process and after doing this distillation process so we are going to get the ethanol and some by products from the ethanol fermentation process or ethanol recovery process then we are having a next production process that is a biodiesel production process so here biodiesel produ production process so we'll be having a methanol and catalyst so here methanol and catalyst we are using here for the biodiesel production process and other end we'll be having a plant extracted oil or fats or waste oil from the households so that will be pre treated and then we are adding into the transesterification process and it will be separated here here what we are doing it so when we are separating it so it will going to get washed and that wash after washing it so whatever the glycerin will be there in this waste oil or the oil which is extracted from the plant after adding the catalyst in it so we are going to get glycerin so glycerin will be collected in another place and after washing it and drying it so biodiesel will be extracted here so this is a simple procedure for the biodiesel production so in detail so if we are having the jetropa seeds how we can product or how we can get the biodiesel so this is the procedure for the getting biodiesel from the jetropa seeds or other plant seeds so this is the procedure so here the jetropa seeds so what we are doing jetropa seed when we are getting it so it will be put into the oil extraction unit so here so oil will be extracted from the jetropa seed and 
so remaining things will be there so remaining that is a oil cake and that oil cake can be used as a green manure or manure or after doing the detoxification of that oil cake so can be used as an animal feed then here this oil so we have we can directly we can use as a lightening the lamp or lightening the stove or but if we have to make the biodiesel from it so we have to undergo it by adding some alcohol and catalyst into the transesterification reactor or transesterification process transesterification process means the process of exchanging the alkoxy group and ester compound by another alcohol particularly these reactions are often catalyzed by addition of an acid here after transesterification process or when we are adding the jetrova oil into transesterification process so crude glycerol will be collected from the other end and the crude biodiesel will be separated for the other end it after refining it so can be used for the making or manufacturing of the soap or candle and the crude oil or crude biodiesel further washed by the water and that clean or pure biodiesel will be collected one end and the washed water so which will go away uh, after washing the crude biodiesel and the pure biodiesel so we can use for the running of the diesel engine or different engines thank you friends